This is the end of year exhibition. It's a celebration of student achievement for the year. There's so much work here. This is the product of all four years. We were given two sites in Mabgate, which is a part of Leeds in the east of the city. Mabgate itself is quite a diverse area with a lot of um, multicultural, so it has a multicultural community, but also a lot of like, low income households. So the idea was to utilize that and create sort of an environment where people could share knowledge and sort of um, cook together and create a more cohesive community. I analysed the area and realised what, how deprived of green space it was. Um, so really wanted to bring kind of a green oasis to Mabgate. The idea is that it acts as a common house for the community. It's a place where the community can gather and promote community engagement. The main inspiration behind it was the sort of the idea of contrast and the contrast of form. So it's got this like rational ordered form, and then like. Um, and then we've got this like fabric form that's quite like irrational and, and like chaotic and it's like the interplay between how both of those react to each other. Normally when people design buildings there's a whole team going into it and we had to do everything single-handedly and there were times where I just wrote pages and pages of decisions I had to make but I think it was all worth it. Remember the about the course of the course mates and uh, it's your course mates and how you all support each other because we all work in the same building we all work around in the same place so you can bounce out each other's ideas off each other, which is really fun. I know every one of my tutors and lecturers well, which makes it easy if you have got an issue because they know who you are. The course is quite good at allowing you to develop your technical skills. You know, I was comfortable using you know, various different softwares and going through regulations and you know, the technical aspects of architecture. This project in particular, we had to model it thoroughly um, from a building physics point of view and also structures. And they learn lots of technical information about the design of buildings, so that they are designing buildings which always try and meet regulations, for example. The people who win the prizes are the ones who combine everything. The ones who have the real depth, the relentless focus on detail, but also sort of keeping an eye on the big picture. Best project design studio at 4.2 is Elizabeth Jackson, and I know